Okay, let's discuss one last thing. Elements, indexes, and memory locations. They are actually very easy concepts, but they are often mixed. So let's see. What is an element? Element are uh, the, the values which are stored in the array. Right? So H is an element, E is an element, L, L, O. They are elements, and backslash 0 is also an element. So this is the first element, this is the second element, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. This means that this array has six elements. Right? Now let's go towards the indexes. So indexes always start from zero. You see, elements start from one. So I will, we will say this is the first element. But if we are talking about the indexes, we'll say this is the zeroth index. So indexes always start with zero. The first index, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So you can see indexes start from zero and they go one less than the total length of that array. Or one less than the elements of that array. You can say that. So, so uh, this array has indexes starting from zero and going up to index five. Now let dis let's discuss the memory locations. So you can see right here, the, um, what is a memory location obviously? The addresses at which uh, this array is stored. So let, let's say this is your RAM. If um, these were different variables, this was not an array, this were, th these were diff six different variables, they would have been stored at random locations, maybe like this, like this, somewhere in the RAM at random locations. But we discussed before that an array is stored at consecutive memory locations. They are not stored, the, the elements of an array are not stored at random places, they are stored at continuous memory location, contiguous memory locations. So that means they will be stored side by side. So if this is the first element, the second element will always be the next memory location. So that can be seen right here. You can see the address. Address is 23451. The address of the second memory location is 23452. So you can see right here, this is 51, this is 52. The next must be 53. And the next will be 54. 5556. Five, five, so addresses are always consecutive in arrays or strings. Anyway, this was all about it. So the, so the one last thing about the library function is that if you have installed the latest version of your compiler, always use underscore s with all the functions. For example, string copy function, strcpy use underscore with it. Why? Because this is actually the newer version of this function. The old one was string copy. So if you are using the latest version of compiler on your computers, then always use uh, underscore s with the functions. Otherwise, you'll get many errors. I hope you understood the lecture well. See you next time.